Hello and welcome to part 13 of my FIFA 23 player career mode where we are taking Steven Gerrard to Premier League glory while attempting to batter a 2008-2009 season in terms of goals and assists across all competitions. First up in this episode, it is a top of the table clash. We take on Manchester City at home in the Premier League and I do think there's only about 5 or 6 games left of the league season. We're in a pretty good spot as long as we keep winning. We don't drop points, we should win the league. But most importantly, we need to beat Manchester City. We cannot afford to give points to Manchester City or Chelsea this late in the season. So hopefully, Gerard and the Liverpool team get the business done, get three points. Gerard with a nice 45 yard pass out to the left wing, doing a couple of one twos out on the left wing. It goes into the midfield, back to Diaz. I feel like he's looking for Torres, finds Jared in the middle of the pitch, who finds Fabinho. A nice through ball into Fernando Torres, who blasts Liverpool into the lead. 1-0 on the 14th minute mark. Anfield erupts, and surely they must also sense a Premier League title is on the horizon for this Liverpool team. Manchester City on the attack now, around the edge of the box. Play through Kevin De Bruyne, whose shot is just over the crossbar. Seems like so long ago this Liverpool team played against Manchester City in the Community Shield and lost. And look where we are now. A devastating pass out from the pack from Alisson. Puts Manchester City in. But he redeems himself from Mahrez's shot and keeps Liverpool 1-0 ahead. Kevin De Bruyne stepping over a corner looking to swing this into the Liverpool box. All of the Liverpool players looking to pick up a man. Specifically the main man, Erling Haaland. Make sure that he doesn't get a header inside this Liverpool box to bring them back into the game. They take the corner shot, play the ball inside the box, back out onto the edge of the box. Grealish trying to dribble his way through, he's not quite able to. Jared makes a nice tackle, but then gets dispossessed. He's still trying to retain possession. He gets done there by the Man City forwards. Man City played the ball into the box. It finds Jack Grealish, who fires Manchester City back into this game. Now, Liverpool look like they're going to counter-attack here, and before they can, Grealish makes quite the hefty challenge on Mohamed Salah. I'm wondering what the referee is going to do here, and the referee shows goal scorer Jack Grealish a red card for that challenge on Mohamed Salah. Now, Torres on the halfway line plays in Steven Gerrard, who bursts past Laporte, bombing down on goal, and he comfortably and coolly finishes past the goalkeeper, to put Liverpool 2 1 up just on the stroke of half time. And do I sense the league title coming to Anfield? I think I do. Liverpool attacking again here. Now in the second half, they find Gerrard on the edge of the box, whose shot is well saved by Ederson in the goal to keep the score at 2 1. And that is full time. Liverpool 2, Manchester City 1. One step closer to achieving Steven Gerrard's dreams of becoming a Premier League champion with his beloved Liverpool. One more goal on the tally mark as well for Steven Gerrard, who now has beaten the record set by himself in 2009. He now has more goals and assists in this player career mode than he did back then. An amazing accomplishment which will hopefully be wrapped up with an FA Cup win and a league title win. But before that, we do play a Leeds United side who are very are very dangerous in this player career mode. They do have Harry Kuehl playing their team who has scored quite a lot of goals in the league and in cup competitions actually. So they could be quite a difficult team. Leeds United are attacking here down Liverpool's right hand side. They play ball into the box, onto the edge of the box and it's the danger man I was just talking about. Harry Kuehl blasting Leeds United into the lead at Ellen Road. Not a great start for Liverpool. Now Steven Gerrard on the edge of the box with a left footed curled shot is just over the crossbar. He looks quite disappointed himself there. Leeds United looking to get another attack on the goal just before half time. It's broken up nicely by Liverpool. Steven Gerrard gives possession away cheaply on the edge of the box and he is punished by Leeds United as they go 2-0 up just before half time. Alisson perhaps could have done a little bit better there for Steven Gerrard but it wasn't enough was it? Now Gerrard playing on the left wing, plays the ball into Fernando Torres, into Mohamed Salah. Gerrard coming up the back post, he gets the cross over from Salah and Gerrard finds the back of the net. 
to give Liverpool a lifeline in this game. 2-1 leads, but it's not quite enough as the full-time whistle goes. Another defeat away from home against one of the sides in the lower half of the table. Liverpool have dropped points again. But thankfully, we are still in a good position. We are two points clear of Manchester City, three points clear of Chelsea, with two games left to play. We do play Newcastle United next. And I'm not quite sure who we have the last game of the season, but it looks like it's going to go right down to the wire. Chelsea play a Brighton Hove Albion side who are already relegated, and Manchester City face a tough trip away to Arsenal. Hopefully, results go our way, and we can maybe pick up the league title in the next episode of this series. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, bye bye.